Hey, what's going on guys? Nick Heron here with the Fantasy Football Swagger Show, and Tom Brady is ready now to play all 16 games. Yes, guys, if you did not hear the news, Brady's suspension was lifted. He did win his court appeal with the NFL, and yes, he is going to be allowed now to play in all 16 games, barring the NFL now appealing, of course. But in the meantime, Tom Brady's expected to play all 16 games, in my opinion, based off the legal system and what we've seen in the past for this type of thing. It would be very difficult to see a situation where the NFL actually does get a suspension on Brady now. Now that it's been ruled one way, it's going to be very difficult for them to overturn that. And I don't really see any situation now where Brady does not play all 16 games. So, of course, the question now becomes, what do you do with Tom Brady? Well, my personal opinion before this was that I had Brady at about 12th to 14th, depending on, you know, depending on the type of league format that you were in. If you were needing somebody that's a little bit more consistent, I think Tom Brady's going to do that for you. If you're really shooting for the stars and, and uh, you know, the rest of your team, maybe you, you kind of went a little bit safe on the other positions and you need somebody that can put up the big numbers. There are other guys down there that I'm, I'm a little bit more confident have a higher upside than Tom Brady. But there aren't very many, very many guys that have a higher floor than Tom Brady. Guys who are the lowest that they're going to do is perform well. I mean, that's that's difficult to come by even at quarterback. So I think Tom Brady now moves from about, like I said, 12th to 14th. And I've got him now ranked 8th which means he's going right around that range of like a Matt Ryan, a Tony Romo, um, even guys like a Cam Newton, a Tom, and now Tom Brady's going right there in that type of a range. I have him eighth, like I said, so uh, that's just my personal spot for him. I think that this is a guy who, uh, in my personal opinion, Tom Brady is the best quarterback that I've ever seen play. I believe he's the best quarterback of all time. However, that doesn't necessarily translate into elite fantasy production. We've seen it from Brady before. He's in, he can be an elite fantasy quarterback. The problem is, is that we haven't seen it lately. Brady did finish outside of the top 10 this past year at quarterback, which makes it difficult for me to put him inside the top 10, but I'm going to do it. He's just going to barely make it based on the fact that, like I said, I think that he has a high floor. He's a guy who... Uh, worst case scenario, I think he's still a good week-to-week -week starter in fantasy, and that's, like I said, very, very hard to come by. So, again, Tom Brady ranked number eight for me now. I'll give you guys an updated lineup of all of my rankings here in the next couple of days so that you guys can get a very good idea of what I'm really thinking for each position. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my current top 10 of the quarterback position in the comments section below so you guys can find that down there. And again, guys, I want to hear from you. What do you think about the suspension? Do you think that Tom Brady is, do you think he's getting off? Do you think he was, you know, involved in the whole situation? Should he be suspended? But more importantly, I want to hear what you guys have to say about the fantasy implications of this. Do you believe that that Tom Brady is somebody now who you should be drafting in a higher round? Do you think that he should be up there with the Ben Roethlisbergers or even the Peyton Mannings and the Russell Wilsons or, or even, even potentially up there with the Andrew Lux and, and Aaron Rodgers because he's just going to come back to the NFL now and he's just going to be pissed and he's going to want to light everybody up. It's a possibility. We've seen it before with Brady. It's not out of the question. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Now, the other thing that I want to point out here is that I do believe that Tom Brady being on the field for all 16 games does slightly bump up pretty much everybody in this, uh, in this Patriots offense. So you're talking about any of the wide receivers, even the running backs. I think they're going to have better opportunities to score touchdowns. Now, Rob Gronkowski is really the main guy that we're really focused on for fantasy purposes, obviously. I'm not changing his actual ranking in my top 12. He does make my top 12, yes, I would take a tight end in the first round in a 12-team league, potentially, if, if Gronkowski is there. But I'm not changing his ranking. I am going to change his projections slightly, however. I am going to make him a little bit higher up in my projections. I think that he's going to do a little bit better in yardage receptions and possibly even touchdowns. I'm not sure that that's enough to really put him ahead of some of these wide receivers and running backs that are in front of him. But it does stretch out the difference between him and the other tight ends. I believe that Rob Gronkowski is very clearly the number one fantasy tight end this year. He's going to put up monster numbers unless he gets hurt, and I don't think that changes. It also will help Julian Edelman a little bit as well. Obviously, we've seen Julian Edelman really develop into a great fantasy target in PPR formats. And with Brady being on the field, I don't see any reason to believe that that will not continue. I think that Julian Edelman probably bumps up maybe three or four spots among the wide receivers, somewhere in that range. He, I think he becomes a little bit more of a consistent target, especially at the beginning of the season. So there you have it, guys. That is going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button, and of course, subscribe to this channel if you are new. Thank you guys so much for all the support, and I'll talk to you next time here on the Fantasy Football Swagger Show.